What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you how to use MAMP for local WordPress development. Now MAMP is one of the many options out there to uh, set up a local development environment and it's very important to work with your code locally versus a production website because you want to make your mistakes on a local development site that nobody else is going to have access to. So that's why it's definitely recommended to use a local web server like MAMP or XAMPP or WAMP or Varian Vagrant Vagrants or Local by Flywheel or Docker or Desktop Server or any of the others that are out there. All right, but today we're going to go over how to set up MAMP for your local WordPress development. So basically, you just go to MAMP.info and it'll take you to this website here. Click on download and then you'll download the version for your operating system. So for me, I'm going to be downloading this version right here. Now, once it's downloaded, you can click on it. It's going to open it up. You'll get a prompt if you're on Windows asking if you want to open this up. I'm going to click on yes. And then you're going to follow the prompts. So I'm going to click on English. I don't want MAMP Pro. And if you want to use the MAMP Viewer, you would uh, check this off over here. I'm going to uncheck that for now. In another video, I'll go over what that is. So from here, I'll click on next. And then this is a license agreement. You have to accept it if you want to use this software. Click on next. And then this will be the location that it's going to be set up in. So you can choose to keep the default location or if you want to choose a different location, you can just browse over here. But I'm going to choose the default. Click on next. Then it's going to give it this name here. I'll click on next. If you want to create a desktop icon, you can uh, leave that checked. I like to keep my desktop clean, so I'll uncheck that. Click next. And then it's going to install all this over here. Click on install. It's going to run through its process. It has to set up MAMP on your system, download all the modules, all the extensions, and everything to get a local web server set up on your computer. So let it just run its process. It'll take some time, but once it's done, you can click on finish. And then to get it started, I'll go over here to my finder or my explorer, and I'll enter MAMP, and it'll bring up the MAMP application. It's going to start your Apache server and your MySQL server. All right, so once it started your Apache server and your MySQL server, we can take a look at the servers here. We can start or stop them here. Look at the tools. We can check the MySQL databases and repair MySQL databases or upgrade MySQL databases. If you need any help, you can click on this link right here. Now for your preferences, you can open this up here and then when starting MAMP, Start servers when starting MAMP. And then you should also check this off over here. Stop servers when quitting MAMP. And then you can leave these um, unchecked if you want. If you want to have the startup page open up, check this off here. Now for your ports, these are the default ports for Windows. On Mac, it might be different. It might be set to something like 8888 and something different for your MySQL port. So definitely check that out. If you ever want to set the default ports, you can click this icon over here or this button right here. For PHP version, you get the versions that are installed over here. For the web server, you can choose either Apache or Nginx. This is the MySQL database version, and this is more about MAMP itself. So we'll click on OK. Any changes that you made, it'll have to reboot the server, the Apache server and the MySQL server. All right, so if we click on Open Start Page. I'm going to bring the link over here because I like to work in an uninterrupted incognito window. This is what the start page looks like. This gives you some basic information about it, about your MAMP version, what you currently have installed, what the port numbers are, and things of that nature. All right, so if you want to look at what websites you have, this is where it would typically be, but this is something I'm not fond of the latest version. And I'll show you how to get around this because that can present an issue. Then if you go to PHP info, you see what version of PHP you're working with. In the tools section, you have PHP my admin. So this is the database administration user interface here. Then if you want to get the facts, you can click on that. And if you want to go to the MAMP website, you can click on that as well. All right, so now let's go back over here to my website. This is the uh, page itself. Now, if you want to start developing for WordPress, you're going to have to take another few steps. Go to WordPress.org, go to Get WordPress, and then Download WordPress. It'll download to your computer. I'm going to go into my File Explorer. I'll go to my Downloads folder, and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so from the Downloads folder, I'll go over here. We're going to want to extract it, extract all, and extract. It's going to extract all the files and folders that come with WordPress. 
once you have it extracted, you're gonna get this main folder here. You're gonna jump into the folder until you get to the actual WordPress installation itself. Verify that you have those WordPress files. I'm gonna copy this folder, or you can cut it if you want, but I'll just copy it. I'm gonna go to my C drive. Now you have this MAMP folder here. That was created when you installed MAMP. So if you dive into that, you're gonna see that we have some more files. This is what makes this local web server work. Your htdocs folder is where we wanna focus on. So I'm gonna paste in that WordPress folder. All right, so now we have that there. So now I'm gonna go back to my browser. I'm gonna go into my database section. I'm gonna reload. And again, the way to get there is to, from the home screen, go to the tools and PHP my admin. And now we're in PHP my admin. So now for WordPress development, I'll click on databases and then we have to create your database. So I'm just going to call it for simple demonstration purposes here. I'll just call it WordPress. Obviously on a production website, you'll call it something different. So I'll click on create. So now I'll go here. I'll go to my websites and you see that you only get the splash page. Now this is here saying that the virtual host was set up successfully, but I'm not seeing the download folder that I would typically see. And this is with the latest version of MAMP. So if you've installed MAMP before, then you shouldn't be running into this issue. But because they did something different here, this is what you see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my file explorer on Windows here, and we see that we have this index.php file. So whenever a web server has a index.php file or index.html file, that's gonna be what it shows first. So if I wanna see this WordPress installation, then I just have to delete these files, the index.php and the MAMP Pro logo. So now if I go back to my browser window and reload, now I see the index of, and I see the WordPress installation. Click on that, and now you'll be prompted to set WordPress up. Just continue. You'll need the database name, username, password, host, and table prefix. Let's go. So the database name, remember I named it WordPress, and you see it right here. If you named it something different, you're gonna wanna make sure to replace it with whatever the database name is that you have for it. For the username, it's gonna be root. For the password, it's gonna be root as well. And then just click submit. And then you're gonna get this notification here saying that everything looks good. So click on run the installation. And then you will give your site title right there, your username, and then a password. I'm gonna use a very weak one just for this demonstration. It's on my local server, so there's nothing sensitive on here. Nobody can access this but me. But on a production site, you should definitely have a strong password. You gotta confirm the use of a weak password, then put in your email address, and then install WordPress. It'll run the process, and now you're ready to log in. You put in your admin name, your username, and then your password. Press enter or return. And now we're inside of WordPress itself. Now the beauty of this is you could run multiple installations of WordPress with MAMP and with almost every other local web server option out there. All you gotta do is just download a new copy of WordPress or you could just take the other copy that you have. I'll go back to the downloads folder. I'll go into there. I'm gonna rename this to something new just because you want to have the sites not conflict. And then I'll go back to that htdocs folder there. If you're on a Mac, it's going to be in your applications folder, in your MAMP application, and then look for htdocs. I'll paste in the folder there. And now we see we have that version right there. I'll go back into my browser, go here. I'll go to databases, and I'll create a new database itself, demo wp, create. So now we have the other database. I can go to the home page, go to my websites, and now we see we have demo WP right there. And then I can set that one up as well. And again, it's using a different database name. The username and password are gonna be the same. Again, you'll get this notification. We'll run the installation. Give it the site name or site title, the username and password your email and install and then I'll log in and now we see that we have two different versions of WordPress set up we have the standard WordPress one here the first one we did and then we have the second one here so now in terms of folder structure let's go over here I'm using Visual Studio Code I'll demonstrate what you'll see here 
So I'm gonna open up a folder. I'm gonna go to MAMP, AC Docs. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna open up this AC Docs folder there. And now you see I have both installations there. I have the first one we did, and I have the second one we did. And you would work with your themes in the typical themes folder there, or in the plugins folder there if you're working with plugins. And if you're working with the other site, you would choose that theme folder and that plugins folder. And that's how you set up MAMP to work with WordPress. Now from the database itself here, we can reload that. We can go into the demo WP database and we see the database tables that we have. You see, we have the users table, the user meta, term taxonomy, term relationship terms, term meta. I have another video that goes more into detail on how to use the uh, WordPress database and how to interact with it, how to change things with it, things of that nature. It's a really good video to watch if you want to learn more about how MySQL or how the database for WordPress actually operates. What happens when plugins create new tables, where things are stored, and how to um, change some information directly from the database if you ever needed to. Now, if you ever wanted to take a backup of your local WordPress installation in terms of the database, let's say you're creating a local website that you're gonna put up on a live production website and you're gonna actually create the content locally. If for whatever reason, the database gets corrupted or whatever, or if your server needs to be replaced or for migration purposes, you're gonna wanna back up your database. So you do that here in PHP My Admin. You go to export and then custom. Make sure you're selecting all the tables Choose zipped for compression, scroll down and click on go. And then it'll download a zip file for that particular database itself. And you want to do the same thing for any other WordPress installations you're working with. And that's it. That's how you set up MAMP to work on your computer. Again, just get familiar with the, um, with your default ports. If you're on Mac, it might be different. So you can go to your preferences and check out the information there on the ports being used. If you're working with themes and plugins, you would put them in the appropriate folders. So this is the uh, site path there. You would just go to the folders that you're gonna be working with. Say you're gonna work on themes, you place your custom theme there. And I have a video on how to develop WordPress themes, so definitely check that out. And if you're working with plugins, you will put the plugin there. All right, so that's how to get started with MAMP. Once you're done working with your local server, it's always a good idea to stop the servers itself. And you would do so just by toggling that button right there. It'll stop the servers. You'll see Apache servers being turned off and the MySQL servers being turned off as well. If we go back to the browser and if we reload, you're gonna see it's no longer gonna work. All right, so that's that. That's how to work with MAMP for WordPress development or local development in general. If you're working with PHP, you're gonna need a local web server and MAMP is one of the popular options out there. If you run into the issue where when you put in your folders or files in the AC Docs folder, I showed you how to get rid of that issue just by deleting the index.php file in the root of the AC Docs folder and the logo file. Now, if you wanted to keep those there for whatever reason, then you could always just directly in your URL bar, go to the full URL for that WordPress installation. So let's say for instance, I'm gonna go to my recycle bin. I'm gonna restore these two items there. Restore selected items. I'm gonna go back over here, go to MAMP, AC Docs. I'm gonna paste that file there. Click on restore and it's there. All right, so now let's start MAMP up. Start the servers, give it a minute. Now let's go to the splash page for that. If we go to my website, you see you have this set up there. Now, if you want to get to the actual path for the other installations, you would just put a forward slash there and then WordPress. And then it brings you there. If you want to go to the other one, you put in demo WP for the name that I gave that one. Whatever name you gave it, you will put in that name and press return and it brings you to that version. But if you don't want to see the splash page, then you could just delete those files, the index.php and the MAMP Pro logo. Delete both of those. And now when you go to the browser and reload, you just get the index of. All right, so that's just a quick tip on how to deal with the um, easy access of your WordPress installations on your local server. That's how to use MAMP, which is one of the most popular local servers used for Mac OS and Windows. And in this video, I just wanted to demonstrate 
how to get started with MAMP for WordPress development. As always, you would have to download WordPress and then go through the process of setting it up. It's a few extra steps, but it's one of the easier web servers to use. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that notification bell. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Share the video with anybody you believe might benefit from watching it. And I will see you next time. Take care.